What is going on, my people? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three-leg parlay, a three-leg NFL Super Wildcard parlay. It feels good to say that for Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Here at Pink Dogs with the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. I got my own Instagram back, guys. I know I've been promoting that new one for the past three weeks, and I appreciate the hell out of all you guys for following that new Instagram. Uh, the support was unreal. Um, you guys are the greatest. But I did end up getting my Instagram back. So all all that promoted for nothing. But if you do want to follow the OG one, you can. But I'm going to take a break from promoting my Instagram because you guys deserve that. You guys are probably tired of me hearing the, the whole rant every video about my damn Instagram. So we're going to stop that for a couple weeks. But if you want to follow the OG one, it's there. Um, and I just want to say I appreciate all you guys for rocking with me um, and, and supporting me, man. It means a lot. It, tr it truly does, bro. I wish I could meet you guys in person, man. We need a pick dogs meetup sometime. But we got super wild card weekend. I think that's what they're calling it. And uh, you know, I'm gonna this is probably strictly NFL guys. As the as the playoffs come here and the NFL season winds down, I'm squeezing everything I can out of this NFL season because I know in a few months it's just gonna be baseball again. And that's always in the back of my mind. I know we have a lot of time, or actually it's not a few months, it's like six months, but still, bro. I'm I'm gonna miss football when it's gone. I know we're just on the playoffs, but we're gonna we're gonna take a blink of the eye, and, and it's gonna be like no more football. So these when when there's NFL games, these parlays are gonna be strictly NFL based. So let's get right into it. We got two good matchups. I'm not mad at these matchups at all. I think we see two good games. I think the Chiefs game is gonna be really interesting with the weather. I think Texas Browns is gonna be a hell of a matchup, and we're gonna start there. And I'm fading the public. I know a lot of people are on the Browns tomorrow. We're going Texans money line. If you want, I understand why you would take the Browns. But I'm going Texans money line. I'm rolling with CJ Stroud. And look, I know Joe Flacco, he's looked great. He's looked great since coming back, guys. But at the end of the day, we have to remember, it's still a 38-year-old Joe Flacco. They're sending out a 38-year-old Joe Flacco out there. Don't get me wrong, he's looked great. But let's not forget who Joe Flacco is. Yes, did he win a Super Bowl? Back when I was in like I was in like middle school when he won a Super Bowl, guys. We're taking the Texans, okay? I actually like how Houston had a big game against the Colts last week that they needed a win. They felt that playoff environment. They felt that pressure. Um, I, I, li I like that for them. I like that for them. And I got I, I got trust in C.J. Stroud. I would take C.J. Stroud any day of the week than the 38-year-old Joe Flacco, guys. And I understand that the Browns have a good defense, but the Browns at home getting – or the Texans at home getting plus money. In my opinion, they have the much better quarterback – I'm fading 38-year-old Joe Flacco. I understand if you want to take the Browns, but I'm going with the Texans on the money line. Fade the public, baby. Give me the Texans at home. Next, um, looking at this match between the Chiefs and the Dolphins, I'm going Isaiah Pacheco over his rush yards. I got it at 65 and a half. We all know about the weather in this game. It's one of the coldest games of all time. I don't know if they said this is going to be the coldest game of all time, maybe the coldest game of the playoff or in playoff history. It's going to be cold as hell, guys. And I just, I, I think we see a, a run approach from both teams, especially if it's snowy, if it's windy. I think both teams will be running the ball a lot. And when it comes to the Dolphins, man, this defense isn't in their best form right now. They're dealing with some injuries. I can see Pacheco just running all over them um, in this game. So I'm going to go Isaiah Pacheco over 65 and a half rush yards. I, and I love watching him play, man. He runs hard. He runs hard. Um, last but not least, I'm just going to take the Chiefs on the money line. I'm not taking them on the spread. I can see this being a, a low-scoring game where the Chiefs win by a field goal. I'm not going to take them on the spread, but I do think they win this game. Um, I just don't think those the, – the, I think the Florida boys are going to struggle with that weather, man. Look, I'm a guy – I come from Atlanta, Florida. I was born and raised and lived my whole life in Florida. I moved to Denver, Colorado, a cold place. I know how it is. I know how it is, bro. My, my friends are all from up north um, and, and things like that, and they're fine with the cold, and, and I'm shivering. That's how, that's how the Florida boys are going to be tomorrow. I don't think those Miami boys are ready for it. And just coming into Arrowhead, it's, it's going to be a tough game for the Dolphins. Um, I, I just think this is a bad matchup for the Dolphins. I think Tua struggles. I think I heard Tua in practice is wearing two pairs of gloves. How, how do you even throw the damn ball with two pairs of gloves on? I think Tua has a rough game, especially against that uh, that Chiefs pass defense. I think, uh, yeah. And, and, but let's be real, guys. The Dolphins, they're a fun team to watch. They've been a great story this year. I love their head coach. I know his, he gets some hate. He gets some love. I love him. I think he's hilarious. I think he's just a cool, cool dude. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I they, 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 And the, my point there was, sorry. Sorry, guys. My point there was the Chiefs haven't beat any good teams this year. Did they beat the, I think they beat the Cowboys, which is cool. But they lost both their games to the 
They lost both their games to the Bills. They lost a game to the Chiefs already this season. I think this is a bad matchup for the Dolphins, man. So give me the Chiefs on the money line. I know it's square. I know the odds aren't going to be great, but that's going to do it, man. Let's recap this parlay. First leg, Texans versus the Browns. Give me the Texans on the money line. Leg two, Pacheco over 65 and a half yards. And then give me the Chiefs on the money line for the third leg. Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I'm doing myself personally, go to pitdolls.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video, and you'll find all my plays there. Like I said, man, I appreciate all the people who followed my old Instagram. If you want to follow the new one, that's cool. Actually, I said I wasn't going to promote it for a little bit. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, but yeah, but most importantly, subscribe to Pit Dogs, man. 365 days a year, we got dudes working our asses off to get these picks out to you guys. We're very transparent and, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's the best crew in the world. So, and, and the best community in the world. Let me tell you what. I hope everyone has a good weekend. Let's be safe, but let's win some money. And yeah, stay warm. I know it's a cold in a bunch of places. I'm, I'm going to be cold as hell this weekend. So, it is what it is, man. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow.